the diminished seventh chord, diminished seventh. Okay, let's try it in the key of C here. We have a one, three, five. You're already going to have that using your odd numbers. Um, diminished means to flat the third and the fifth. And when you have a diminished seventh, you're going to flat the seventh twice. In other words, you double flat the seventh. Uh, let me show you what we're talking about. One, here's your one, three, five, but take the third down a half step and take the fifth down a half step. So we flatted those. So we're going to find that seven. See what we're talking about, about the seven. One, two, three, four. I'm doing a C scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's your major seven. But normally in every chord, you're going, except for the major chord, you're going to flat the seven. So I flatted it. In other words, took it down a half step. But in a diminished seven chord, you're going to take the seven down another half step. In other words, you flatted it again, which in that case, you double flatted it instead of flattening it only one time. Uh, so therefore, you have a one, flat three, flat five. Okay, here's your major seven, but we're going to double flat it, flat it once, flat it twice. Okay, so that would be a C diminished seven, which is C, E flat, G flat, A. Uh, another way some people think of it, they just think of using the sixth which is one, two, three, four, five, six. I really don't like to think of it that way, but I'm just showing you maybe it'll help you if just to know that you do have the right answer or that seven double flat it would be the same as a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which would be one, flat three, flat five, then a double flat at seven would actually be a six. Um, let's try another one. Let's try the key of E. Here's the E chord, which is one, three, five. That's a regular E chord. But I'm going to take that G sharp, E, G sharp, B. I'm going to take the G sharp, which is your third, take it down a half step, and take your fifth, which is B, down a half step to B flat. So that will be an E diminished chord, but you want to diminish seven. So what you're going to do, you're going to find the seventh, one, when the key of E, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But take the seven down a half step and then take it down a half step again. That would be called a double flat at seven, a double flat seven, uh, or diminished seven. Uh, and remember another way we said that your diminished seven, you could think of it as a six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that seemed a little confusing, but I'm not confusing you on purpose. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got one, three, uh, 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 flat your third, I mean. And then you, here's your five, but take your flat, your fifth down a half step. And then there's your diminished seven. Now I'm going to show you uh, uh, something to help you probably remember the diminished seven chords a lot easier. You notice here, like right now, we have an E diminished seven chord. You notice there are two keys in between each note. So if you have here, here's an E. And we know our next note is G. Okay, so you have two keys in between there. You count the black keys and the white keys. It's half steps. So you're going to have two keys in between. Um, and we'll, so coming from G to add your next note, you're going to skip over two keys, which we're not going to play the A flat. We're not going to play the uh, A, but we're going to play the B flat instead. And then when you sum so a diminished seven, just remember, skip two keys from where you are. So here's B flat. So we're going to skip the B, and we're going to skip the C, and then you'll be at D flat. And let's say you wanted a, a thicker chord right here. If you want to do something with this finger here, with your pinky finger, if your pinky finger can reach it, just skip two keys, one, two, and you'll be right there to E, which you already have here. So you don't really have to have it, but I'm just showing you what you could do. And that don't just go for going up. You could do that going backwards also. So if I have the E here, Skip two keys, and then come down. Skip two more keys. Two more keys. And some people think of that as coming down three keys. So if you're here, just come down one, two, three half steps, okay? Come down three half steps, one, two, three. So I add that note, then come down three keys, one, two, three. Then right there you have... Uh, 
It's still an E diminished seven because we started on E. As long as you start on wherever, whatever note you want, it's your diminished seven. But you can go part. I'm on E. I can go this way some. So I went up, and then I could still go so the same note and go down some. Come down again. Same. It's totally up to you which direction you go you want to go. Uh, and I guess while I'm at it, I can show you this about the diminished seventh chord. It's really only four diminished seventh chords. Uh, I think we're on the E. Yeah, that's the E diminished seventh chord. So actually, an E diminished seventh chord, I'm going to put an E in the left hand bass. This same chord right here is also a G diminished seventh. Why is it also a G diminished seventh? Because I started on G. I'm going to come down two keys. Remember what we said the rule was about the diminished seventh. And I'm going to go up. Three keys, I guess you can call it three keys. One, two, three. Then go up three more keys. So that's your diminished seven. You add another note if you want. It's totally up to you. Now, so that would be a G diminished seven. But just like this is an E diminished seven, what determines is your bass. See, I put the bass or the left hand bass, put it on the E. So that will make it an E diminished seven. But now, if I put it on G, the same chord becomes a G diminished seven. If I put the left hand or the bass on B flat, now the same as that chord, even though I'm playing the same exact notes, become a, it becomes a B flat diminished seven. And then if I change the bass note to a D flat or a C sharp, same thing, this chord now becomes a D flat diminished seven. And that could be any inversion. The same as that chord, but it's, it's just called a diminished seven chord. Just depend on where your left hand bass. And you can have this G diminished seven chord, and if your bass note is a G, you can actually, even though it's a G diminished seven, you can use any one of these notes here as a substitute bass or a substitute left hand. So instead of a G, you can always use a B flat, C sharp, or you can use an E. And I said always, but it depends on if you like the flavor or. or Depending on how how the taste of it goes with the song, that's a G, that's a that's a diminished seven chord. 